hello hello and welcome back to my channel my name is Laura and today I'm going to talk about all my favorite books watching my channel for any length of time you've probably noticed by now that I am not a series girly I don't know why I just generally feel like I can't read the same characters over and over again there are a few exceptions however I have read the Harry Potter books more times than I can count I've read the Hunger Games books several times as well so there are a few that I just reread. But I wanted to talk about some of my favorite series that maybe you haven't heard of, maybe you haven't read yet, and if you're not a series reader like me, then this is the video for you because I'm gonna talk about ones that are so addicting that you can't help but want more. <laughs> so like I said, I'm sure everyone's already read this, already heard of it, but the Hunger Games series. Such brilliance. I cannot get enough of these. I mean, I read them for the first time actually when I was on my honeymoon and I made my husband read them right after me. He's not really a big reader, but I was like, you need to read these because I need to talk about them with someone. And we were on a cruise, so we had lots of time and then he loved them too. So yeah, I mean, I read these all back to back to back. This was like in 2012. So I think that the first movie had come out, but that was it. So. I loved being part of like that hype with it. It was just, these are great books. They're so unique. I love the dystopian elements. I, again, am probably explaining a book that most people have already read, but these are great for people that don't wanna like have this huge undertaking of like a six book series because this is just a trilogy. I know that the Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes also came out and is sort of a prequel, but I like to pretend that book doesn't exist because I hated it, so do with that what you will, but fantastic series. The next is actually my very, very first Stephen King book, and that is Mr. Mercedes. I know a lot of people love his Dark Tower series, but I'm not a fantasy reader, and additionally, that is a series that's so long, there's so many books that I just don't see myself ever reading it. But Mr. Mercedes is a trilogy, and these books are so good. They were definitely like my Stephen King gateway drug and still are some of my favorite books ever. So this series follows a retired cop named Bill Hodges who sort of does his own like vigilante sort of patrolling. <laughs> so the book opens with this job fair where people have gathered at very early in the morning to wait for jobs. There's a mom with a newborn. There's just a lot of people and you sort of get a little bit of a feel for them. And then someone in a big old Mercedes plows them down and kills a lot of people outside this huge job fair. So Bill Hodges had retired and this was kind of like the unsolved case he could never get over. Like he just could not finish it before he retired and like just is still haunts him. And so then he starts getting these weird like letters and emails and stuff from this guy taking credit called Mr. Mercedes. And so Bill once again is like trying to solve the case. In the meantime, this crazy person named Brady Hartsfield lives with his mom. He works in a like Best Buy sort of electronic store and he is an actual psycho. We get some insight between him and his mom, and yeah, I mean, he's like the one who got away. This umbrella becomes like a big part of the story. It's just so good, so, so good. These are books that you just can't put down. I read them all three back to back a few summers ago, and it was not a few, a lot now, but probably five or six years ago. And these are just so good. This is also, if you're a Stephen King fan, the first appearance of Holly Gibney. This series is kind of where she began and now there have been multiple books written about her. Stephen King's actually next book is just called Holly. So it's all about her detective agency that she ends up, or should I say like a private investigator agency after she, you know, moves on from this case and other stuff. But so good, loved it. And even if you aren't a Stephen King fan or you aren't like a horror fan. This is not a horror. This is like crime drama suspense. 
something like that, but so good. Definitely give it a try. Again, another kind of popular one, the Scythe series. This is a dystopian YA series. There are three-ish books, so there is a fourth book, but it is more of a short story collection set in the same world as the uh, trilogy. There are a few characters like crossover, but it's mostly just stories set in the same world. Scythe is about a world where there is no illness, there is no famine, there is no anything like that. It is just utopia, basically. But people still have to die because otherwise the planet would run out of resources, right? So they have to come up with a system to get rid of people. And that is where the Scythes come in. So they are a group of people who are chosen for basically like their goodness and all of that to glean people, which is what they call like murder them. Because otherwise, you know, it's just going to be out of control with more people being born. Additionally, people, because there's no illness, no anything that kills you, basically, uh, people live for so long that the, just the population keeps growing and nobody is dying off. So they come up with this plan and this is just how it works now. That's the only way that you can die because even if you like jump off a building, they just go send you to a revival center where they bring you back to life and like you're maybe out of commission for a few days, but you're basically fine. So this follows two people who get selected to be apprentices for the Scythes and they all kind of flow into each other. There's really good setups and I I feel like this is the only thing bordering on like fantasy that I could get behind. Similar to The Hunger Games which I guess is dystopian but you know just like our world but with some different rule changes essentially. So good. This series is awesome. Definitely pick it up. Again, more popular ones, but maybe ones you just haven't thought to pick up. The Bromance Book Club. These are romance books. And while you don't have to read them all in order, which I guess is what I would call a series, you you should. <laughs> because they really do all build on each other. And it's not just like the, the odd character here and there. There's a lot about all of the the men and women in the story throughout the whole series. So definitely start with the first one. So the these books are about a book club by this group of high profile kind of men in Nashville. There's a couple of major league baseball players. There is a professional hockey player. There's a country music artist. There's a guy who owns a bunch of nightclubs and has a lot of money. And they basically meet up and read romance novels to learn how to be better partners and husbands and better people to their wives and girlfriends and potential wives and girlfriends. So it opens with Gavin who is a professional baseball player getting drunk and being dragged to this meeting and his the other people in this meeting are telling him about the book club and he's like absolutely not. We find out something happened between him and his wife and they have two little girls and he just wants to fix his marriage and win back his wife. And it goes from there. These are such great reads. They're funny, they're sweet, they're smart. And I'm not saying that like romances in general aren't, but the, the humor is smart and clever and isn't like obvious and surface level, if that makes any sense. I just think this is a, such a great series. My favorite one is A Very Merry Bromance, which is a Christmas story. I read it last year, it just came out in like op October, but it was so good. I loved that for Christmas time and I definitely am probably gonna make it part of my yearly Christmas readings just cause I loved it. The characters were great, the atmosphere was great and I just, this is the best romance series I've ever read. I highly recommend this if you haven't read it and again like definitely start with the first one some people could read them out of order but i really think you'll be missing something if you don't read them from the beginning all right my last one is another ya series that is just so delicious and that is the american royal series so this is like gossip girl and meets the royal family it basically asks the question, what if instead of having a democracy 
And instead of George Washington becoming president when the country was founded, what if he became the king? And so it's set in modern day and the Washingtons are the royal family and it kind of goes through all of their sort of exploits and, you know, the heir and the spare and all of that. And the oldest, the oldest girl is going to be the first queen of America and how she's like kind of getting ready to become that. She's been raised her whole life. And then there's a son and a daughter, a younger daughter who are both, I think they're twins, if I'm not mistaken. And, you know, how they are a little bit more wild. And yeah, this there are currently three books out. I do know that there is a fourth coming out. These are such good reads. They're like easy and fun and just like, keeps you flipping pages because they're just gossipy and addicting. I love them. The audiobooks are also really good. I think I've listened to two of them on audio, but I do own physical copies because of course I do. So good. And yeah, a new one's coming out. So if you want to jump on this train, definitely recommend doing so before that one comes out. I'm sure there are other book series that I'm forgetting, but I, again, not a huge series reader. I definitely prefer a standalone or if I like a series, then I'm gonna wait for the next one. I need to read them as they come out because if you just show me like a 10 book series, it's not happening. So definitely think these are all really good choices if you don't love a series so much. These are books you're gonna either want to just dive right into the next one that's out or you can sit on it for a while and I think like the key plot points you need to remember, will be, you'll be retaining them. Just my opinion, but again, I forget a book like as soon as I read it. So if I can read these series, you can too. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. And I will see you in the next one.